what's going on world? It's a new edition of the Gray Area featuring my homeboy Philosopher. How you doing today, bro? Man, I'm doing great. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. How you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm glad to escape the 2020, you know what I'm saying? We're going to 2021 blessed. So everybody out there stay blessed, man. So the first question I want to ask, man, how was life growing up in Chicago? For me, I love it. Like actually like to me, it ain't no city like Chicago, to be honest. Like, a lot of the time, people be like, oh, man, what is it like in Chicago? It's so messed up. It's so bad, and it's so this. Man, to be honest, I came up in a two-parent household, you know what I mean, which is just rare uh, nowadays. But my folks, they had, like, old-school love, so they really, you know, tried to uh, and still just doing things right, you know what I mean? You still be growing up in the streets. Um, you're still in the hood, you know, everybody who's not from the hood, you know, like I only know a few people that's really like suburbanized and all that stuff. Like, I don't really know people like that. So uh, growing up in Chicago was cool for me, man. We the home of uh, Icy's, Kool-Aid's, you know what I'm saying? Having the candy lady, you know, most people had a candy lady on their block or something like that. You know, so it was still like some good upbringings around, you know, it just be violent out here. So, you know, you can't escape violence. That's, that's violence is anywhere. You can die in Idaho or something, you know. I feel you on that. And that segues into my next question. I want to know, like, who is your favorite Chicago artist? Like, who you feel like is representing the best in Chicago past and present? What's my favorite Chicago artist? That's probably one of the hardest questions you will ever ask me because... I appreciate every artist that came through Chicago and every artist. We ain't really like biters out here. Somebody a bite like, man, your clothes before they bite like your rapping style. And you'll create uh, some kids out here, but they'll probably be from another generation. But your actual pair, it's rare that you will see two artists from Chicago with the same style. You ain't never really seen that, like how uh, it get publicized other places. You know, people be fighting over their style or be like, man, hey, bro, stole my song or stole my swag. <laughs> That's kind of few and far in between over here because we're we going to do whatever it takes to stand out or to be different. Like, shit, to me, I'm I'm more different than, than most artists and I'm still, like, in my own lane, not saying... Uh, the other art, the other artists are different from me. You know what I mean, and that's what give us all something different to offer to you. You know what I mean, the fans and everybody that's looking to get it. You know. So, let's go, great. It's a segment where we ask controversial questions and things like that, and get the answers and everything like that. So let's go, great. So I was talking to somebody uh, the other day, and I was explaining to them about like Crips and Bloods and and how they beef and how they can like come together and do music, and they kind of made. You know, the West Coast scene a little bit more safe. Why do yeah. we don't see more BDs and GDs and Vice Lords and things like that doing songs together? Like, why we don't see that in Chicago? To be honest, I don't know, but it's coming to a time. They say, what does Chicago have to do to unify? It's coming to a time where uh, a lot of people are getting unified. And aside from what they publicize, you know, just like that, man, the Duck, you know what I'm saying? LBG Duck, may you rest in peace, man. That's the homie. But uh, Duck and Vaughn, bro, in Chicago, people are going to post and they're going to say, man, we lost two great legends, no matter what side or, or where you from. You know what I mean? But in the media, they're going to act like everybody against each, each other. You know what I'm saying? So to me, Chicago, we like, man, we like a big dysfunctional family or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, we understand what's going on in our dysfunctional family, but everybody outside, they don't even really get it. You know, so, next question. That's the end of, of the uh, of the grade. Let's go back to normal. So, I wanted to ask you, man, uh, what you working on? You got any new music coming out? Like, let the people know what you working on. Now, right now, I have a few different projects, and I'm working on a few different things. I'm a jack of all trades. I just dropped a song called Iffy. Um, you can stream it on all platforms. It's Iffy by Philosopher, man, and it's doing pretty good. I just dropped it on the first. I got over a 1,000 streams on, like, all platforms. It's all organic. You know, everybody, uh, they kind of really tap in with me, man, and mess with me. So while you at it, make sure you download Iffy by Philosopher on iTunes, man. Check in with me. My name, once again, is Philosopher. You got to download the Iffy on iTunes. Everybody is messing with it. It's a good record, good feel, good track. 
and I'm a real live lyricist, you know, so you're going to want to bang that joint in your whip, you know what I mean, or even around the crib, you know, while you're cleaning up or something like that. Y'all heard that. Make sure y'all download that record. Don't make me come find you, man. Don't make, don't make no alias come find you, you know what I'm saying? So, 2020, man, was a hell of a year, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to discuss it. <laughs> I'm just glad that we made it out. I don't even want to discuss it. But I want to know, uh, what was your, what's your 2021 goals like? You know what I'm saying? It's a new, fresh year. Like, what do you have planned or what do you want to accomplish in 2021? To be honest with you, man, to take over the world, I want to do as much as I can. And when I say that, I don't mean like, you know, in a bad way, or like some old school pinky in the brain, bro. <laughs> but uh, I want to take over. I want to do everything that I ever thought of, everything that I ever dreamed of. You know, that's what life is about. And if 2020 ain't teach me anything, it's like, man, you got to go for everything. I was through so much in 2020, you wouldn't even believe. And man, maybe you would because a lot of people went through a lot of stuff. But I say go for everything and don't let nothing stop you no matter what. You know, when you wake up and you got in your lungs, you better go for it like it's your last day. So the last question I want to ask you is uh, let everybody know where they can follow you at. You know what I'm saying? Where can we find you at? You know what I'm saying? All your social medias and things like that so we can, you know, follow you and follow your journey. Man, now you can find Philosopher at Philosopher. I'm Philosopher everywhere for the most part. So if you go on Twitter, you go on Facebook, uh, name something, you go on uh, Clubhouse, you know, in pretty much any social media platform, you go on Bego, <laughs> you know, you name something, it's going to be Philosopher. So that's P-H-I-L-O-S-O-P-H-A. Once again, that's P-H-I-L-O-S-O-P-H-A. And on Instagram, you can check me out. That's the only one where it might be a little bit different. Everybody call me Lassie for short. You know what I mean? It's just the middle part of my name. So uh, it's Lassie, B-K-A, Philosopher. So it's just Lassie, better known as Philosopher. You know what I mean? So it's L-O-S-I underscore B-K-A underscore uh, Philosopher. <laughs> P-H-I-L-O-S-O-P-H-A. So make sure you look it up, man. Make sure you check me out. And don't be afraid to come to the shop, man. We got a lot of good people up here. It's a melting pot. And we got the best food, man. Mild sauce with chicken, all of this different stuff. And I don't even eat like that. I'm a vegan. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, man, make sure y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tap in with Mike. You know what I mean? We just had another edition of, uh, I think they call it the gray area. You know, we just had another edition of the gray area. So, make sure you stay tuned in with Tapped In, Mike. And we definitely going to rock. You know I'm rocking with you. Uh, and that's another one. So y'all heard it here, man. He got big things going on. He even even when I was on Clubhouse, you know what I'm saying, he even got prayed on. And, and you know, I felt it too, you know what I'm saying, when the lady came. And, you know what I'm saying? So you know he got good things going on. This is the addition of the gray area. Life is more than black and white. Let's go gray. Ah!